So I am so frustrated. I tried to upload a video yesterday talking about how laces ripple, buckle, and so on and so forth. And the sound did not go on there. It was such a good video. Everybody was clicking and looking and sharing and whatever. So I just didn't take it down. But I'm going to give you a little bit more to add to it. So here's the thing. Here's another additional reason why they buckle. They buckle because how they're made. Okay. So these are not made by hand. I know y'all thought they was made by hand, but they are not made by hand, okay? So they are made by a machine that comes down and drops the hair, and it injects the hair inside the lace, okay? But the only problem is when it's inject, injecting the hair in the lace, it is not laid on a, a curved surface, okay? So I don't know if you're following me, right? Like, listen close. If it's laid on a flat surface and then they inject the hair in there and they go in and try to lay it on a curved surface, it won't lay right. Okay, so that's the reason for cutting those slits in there in which you are watching this video if you didn't see the previous video that was loaded that didn't take good. Okay, so they noticed their issue, right? What they did was some companies tried to fix it by adding pleats. You see the pleats? The pleats is going to make this curve. Those are the lines that are right here. You can see them. Okay, so on this particular one, there are no pleats. So the one with the pleats will lay by itself like in a curve. Okay, so you would have to ask your vendor to put those pleats in there so that you can have that curve and it helps eliminate some of the buckling. Okay, so that is just an extra little, you know, um, one to grow on, on when it comes to these laces. This was not always like this. If you've been doing lace for about five years, you know this really just kind of started. It's not just with HD. It happens with the Swiss lace as well. It's how they're made and things like that. And from pulling and tugging and, uh, and so on and so forth, but mainly how they're made. Okay, guys, so real quick, I'm running late. I didn't have time to put on my um, stocking cap. You don't really need one. Sometimes I just do it because my hair look crazy, but I'm just letting y'all see, like, it look crazy. But I'm not about to put one on because I don't have time. So this was a fresh HD lace. And as you all know, HD lace, sometimes they ripple, you know, in the front. So... This is a fresh lace, and you see how thin it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into this lace. I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to... I'm cutting it. That is where the temple area is. I'm going to cut there, okay? So, if you can see this, I'm kind of like in my hotel room, and I was just thought about it. I was like, let me show them this real quick. So, I'm going to cut into the lace. I'm actually cutting into it, like into the hairline, Okay? And then I'm going to do the other side the same way. I kind of went in just a little bit, slightly. Don't go in too, too far. Okay? So I'm going to lay it on. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it on me. I always cut my lace before. Everybody do it different. You just have to do what's comfortable for you. I got so much face space to work with. So I don't know. It's really easy for me. I'm kind of like at a hotel, I'm getting ready for a show. And I just was like, let me record this and show the people. So if you notice, I have this cut and I cut into the hairline just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cut this lace off because I just do. And I know some people use zigzag shears. Some people use a razor. I use whatever. You know, it don't bother me. Um, some people say when you use the zigzag shears, I've heard people say that it make it fray. It's going to fray anyway. Like, lace don't last forever. It is a very, like, it just don't last. So you will have to replace it. And when I cut it, I'm going to cut it close to the hairline. I'm just going to follow the hairline. I don't know if you can see that there, but I'll just hold it up so you can see it because I'm kind of in a rush, but I kind of wanted to take this opportunity to show. Okay, so you can see where I cut me a slit like right in there and 
right in there now when I glue it down I'm not gonna have any issues I've already cleaned my skin I already did the skin protect so now I'm just gonna apply my glue and then lay my lace down okay so you notice how I got that flap right there see cutting it right there is gonna keep this from pulling and scrunching up you know causing those ripples so what I want to do is I want to draw this out because I don't want to put the glue in the wrong spot so I'm trying to see in this mirror so I'm gonna draw like I'm using like a little eyeliner it's white you don't have to use white you can use like a beige or something like that but I don't I'm doing white hoping that you can see it in the camera I, gotta, I need to hurry up. This is just going to tell me where to put my glue. I'm not going to do very many coats. I'm just going to have it on for a minute. But I just kind of like thought it was a good idea since this was like a fresh, a fresh lace, HD lace. They're so thin, they will ripple on you really easy. Sometimes the um, Swiss lace will too, depending on how thin it is and if you stretch it. Okay, so now you can see I know where to put my glue. Okay, so once I do get it where I want it to be now, I'm gonna go ahead and take some alcohol to remove the white lines or dots. I try to do dots, that way I'm not making so many of them. Make sure you don't get the glue on the white dots because it's hard to get off like that. So, once I wipe it, now I know where to put my next coat. So now I know where to go. I know exactly where to put my glue. Because I can just put it on top of the previous area that I put the glue. And I'm not going outside of that. And that's that on that. Okay, so it is totally clear. No white. No white glue anywhere. Now we're ready to put it on. <clears throat> Need to hurry up. So I'm going to kind of bend down so I can line this up. I hope y'all can see this. Okay, we lined up. Then we do one side of the two. You notice how I laid the I laid the front down first. Now I'm doing the side. Everything is matching up perfectly. Okay, as you can see, there's no buckling. 
and I didn't put any product on it. I just kind of like combed everything down. It was already molded with mousse on the mannequin before I put it on because I knew I wasn't going to have, you know, much time. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to use a satin or a silk scarf to tie it down. This is going to give me even more of a melt while I walk on over to the event. I don't have time to style it. I'm just going to leave it like it is as long as my lace is not looking bad. So that's it. Okay, so that was the end. No buckling. Usually, like, people have, like, a lot of rippling up there. But if you cut it up in there, that's going to save you all the trouble. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed those tips. Make sure you subscribe below.